So I've been, I just decided to stay in the parking lot of this house until, until the siege is over. I guess I'm doing a siege, but I'm hiding now because they kept kicking me out because I was parked in front, right, of this grocery outlet, which is now my, it was at 33, it was my favorite store. That's the dude ruined it. And it's because of one gesture, one gesture that I can't take. I don't care where I am. It won't even be LA road rage if I, well, yeah, no, in LA I understand. So I, yeah, any other place I understand, Santa Barbara, you cannot be flipping off the Lord for no reason. Especially when there's an old timer here giving me a Bible as I, as I was telling this homeless man, I bet if you help her, this lady here get her, her baggage into her car, right? All those baggies of your product, employee stop, that did that to me because I was like, hey, do you see those guys, homeless guys are doing your job. They've been doing it all day. It was in time lapse. We saw, uh, na, 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 na. what does the Lord do? Now he's hanging out in his car in front of a sign that says no loitering, no soliciting. He's done both for two years. And his friend, homeless Dave, is just lying there. And you guys walk back and forth. Not much. So we put a cart here. We put the cart off of your you know, half onto your private land, but the rest in the public and pointed right in the poor grandma's. Yeah, don't worry, it's my mama, she's in on it. The poor grandma just left her yellow, what should I call it? It used to be a beetle, something. It's the thing, like it's a, it's a young person's, it's a millennial's beetle. Let's just say it's, it's yellow. You will see it on there. And that license plate, yeah, that's who you will be paying lots of money, not you. Don't worry, managers, I'm getting back to you, managers. Why'd you have me wait again? Do you know how depressed I was? I couldn't, I took, I tried to do videos for the first time of me honestly depressed. I can't do it. I got to get myself manic again. I couldn't do it last night, so I tried to sleep. You guys keep sending me away. Now I can't go to the bathroom. I'm in pain. And I have to go in and do this audit. And I'm working it out in my hand. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work, right? They're going to know. They're going to know that, that that doesn't really bother me. But how are we going to do it, people? All right, it has to be public. So I was going to do it now, but there's nobody. Before, I was going to do it all discreet. Last night, same thing. I went in all discreet, all clean. Didn't pull any punches. He won't come down, this Larry. Now that I know his name and that I'm demanding his last name and just sending, I sent the girl away this time. I said, you saw me yesterday going, where are they? And I was telling, there were citizens worrying about me. I had to tell them, no, 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 this isn't a threat. I'm just giving them hypotheticals. That's what I've been doing. They always go, is that a threat? No, but like right now I could, this would be my daughter and, and I would be a crazy person. I know what it's like. I would be triggered by a person who's not show yourself, Larry. Have you never seen a movie like that? But I could take her hostage and turn it into my viral video. He did. You're there. You are watching. You did give me, this is your, that's why you kept doing it. All right, so what is the first thing? He flipped off, he flipped off the camera. All right, the camera's just been sitting there. It's just been watching everyone go back and forth. We haven't done anything wrong except be super nice citizens and then citizens that have been nice to us, even giving us Bibles and things. So we're on God's side. It's, it's everyone, it's, we're on the human effort side. Anyone who can just stop whatever job thing they made you do and just be human and you go, you know what, I'm not doing three, four, five. Today, decided not to. He asked me, 
to just listen to his longitude and longitude. Strange, uh, just, uh, same story. True, being flipped. Yeah, he asked me, he told me, he said, I must listen to me. I can only tell you this. This is the amount I can tell you before it will disconnect. Please take down my mama's number. You can't do it. They could have, I kept saying, all right, longitude and longitude. And they're like, no. And I said, no, no. Now, with that information I gave you, that number of my mama, who's also on the Allstate, along with my sister, you will see it all just, you could call them all. My other sister's out of town, so I don't know if she'll find me, but they can't do it. The little minion's going, nah, nah. But number three says, are you in a safe place? Now you're telling them, well, I usually go to this grocery outlet that they're, um, but they, you know, today they kind of bashed it up where I cannot leave. That's why I'm calling you. It's like, I tried to get through to the 911. Sir, I cannot listen to any more. But I was about to say, I can't get through to the 911 because of the system of this Ford Focus 2018 lemon on the third try. This is going to be the one. This is the second one. We have turned it into a lemon. It was done by the employees of the grocery outlet. On Delavina, doesn't matter where is it. It's the only place in all of Santa Barbara where Delavina is a two-way street. You, you find that place and you just go the right direction, I suppose. You'll run into it. You'll see it. Oh, and then you'll go, oh, there's that gas station. Oh, he was talking about that. He did put, make sure that that Chinese restaurant with their cockfighting and their, you know, mishandling of animals with paperwork that was sketchy, right? And you, get a, you get a tax write-off. It's a donation, people. It's a, what kind of dog? Well, yeah, it's a therapy dog, but really, it's a therapy dog that does that afterwards. Doesn't do his job. All right, so that's what that guy did. He called me over. Now, he's African-American, and everyone who knows me knows that we don't, we don't deal racist, right? We are the human effort. There's only one law, and that is don't be a dick. That's it. You can be, you can do whatever. But you know that being a dick, yeah, you know what it entails. You know when you're doing it. So you see, if you... If you want to be pure, you have to think back and go, oh, well, I'm a dick. Yeah, I've done it. I've accepted it. I've apologized. And then I will continue on being a dick. We have to go, oh, no, give us back your T-shirt and the hat. Yeah, it was free. Goodbye. You know, Trump supporter. You know, we can usually, we'll use you in a year. You can come in and cause some problems for the sovereign citizens and the First Amendment auditors. We're not mixed in there. Please. The last riot, whatever, everyone's scared. My mama was like, oh, my God, I'm looking at the TV, son. Where are you? I'm parked here, right? Well, let me tell you, mama. Hold on. Did you see that telephone? Did you see the telephone? Did you see what he did under his armpits? Did you see what they did? Oh, they're stealing what? Yeah, mama, I told him to do that. You haven't heard of the... You haven't heard of the Green Party we are taking over. Did anyone come? I tried to tell all the citizens that. I tried to tell everyone in Santa Barbara. They didn't care that I was the only First Amendment auditor. Hello. Did you not see me, Mama? I was right there, I guess. Oh, I had that mask. I was the one wearing that particular mask. From that particular movie. Yeah, I had the red shoes. Did anyone see my red shoes when we took down the White House for like, what, a couple hours? Scaring the staff, you know, back to their quarters where they were like, First Amendment this, assholes. You're all going to jail. You guys, but for five minutes, right? When you saw that, whoa, you guys don't know what to do when something like this happens. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, grocery Look, if you stay up there, Larry, don't give a last name. Now every Larry for every crazy bipolar that I triggered. Do you know how many Larrys there are? There's going to be people who are like, what do you mean, Larry David? What did you say about Larry David? You, right? What do you mean, Larry David's anti-semi? What are you talking about, Wagner? Now I'm getting this hate mail because I mentioned that Wagner 
tan 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 It's anti-Semite. No one seems to know. They keep commenting, well, that's great. Your grandfather asked. He's Jewish. Wow, he's very accepting. He's very accepting. No, you guys don't know the history of the past, but you don't even know music. You just know the dun 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 And you go epic because you saw it in Apocalypse Now. Yeah. When it's done like that, yeah. But it's actually from an opera. It just has, it's usually badly done. There's like this plastic horse that comes flying in. Dun, 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 dun. It's a huge opera. Dun, 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 dun. It's like in four sections. Dun, 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 dun. It's like yeah, Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. Four episodes. Dun, dun, dun. Right? Yeah, no, there was only one Star Wars people. It was all hand done. They scratched in the laser beams. All the, all the, all the effects were done kid-like. Kid geek who had stayed at home. Read about it. It's, it's much more interesting than the CSI or which episode of the 122 blah, blah, blah are you on? Did you know that there's that hidden episode? Did you know that there's a hidden episode of the Seinfeld? And I keep trying to say it, what it is, and nobody, Larry David and his hitmen, because of something I said to Louis C.K. because he had one of my videos shut down for stealing his material, but I was just on the toilet and I got in contact with Larry David and I said, dude, tell him who originated that act and also tell him now that he's being a bitch like that and having my videos taken down. Anything that mentions him and SNL. Oh, you guys are joining his side. Hello, Lauren, you're going to have nobody. You know I am the original. I was on the first show the first day of the first show, SNL. You were already yelling at me. You, I'm a musician, you, you, but you put me on a marking spot. It wasn't even you. You walked away. Now we got someone telling me, all right, you're not even going to be the actor, but just start saying, here, live from blah, 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 right? I don't like you. I'm a musician. I'm looking at, I, first they're putting me on a marking spot. You don't tell a musician where to sit, stand. Yeah, then you're going to tell me I can't hang the flag upside down while I go, rah, 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 I love America. How are you going to explain that? Someone taking it down, banning a ban. How are you going to explain that? Unless you said, well, I think the next song they were going to play was controversial. No way. Lauren. Stay away from the music. Did you hear how bad the sound was when the Beastie Boys played for the last time on your show? I, we saw it. They ended it. They started with the stuff that was on the radio, and then they saw you were all dicks. And they said, hey, this is a part of the human effort. And they just, you guys didn't know what was going. You know, the sound was so awful, but it was awesome because you guys have never sounded like that again. And Rage would have done that, I know, but you had to beep, make sure this doesn't continue. The flag upside down, they didn't even get to the burning part. It would have been so awesome. Kaufman would have just been kissing you all. But instead, you do this shit sometimes. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm saying. You have good times and bad times. It, it depends who's writing. Right, Louis C.K.? Right, Larry David? See, he's going to be on my side. He didn't like you taking my act about masturbating, Louis C.K., in a plastic plant. It, it went into the circuit right away. Who, what do you think? Who's the comedian that had been unheard of from Santa Barbara, California, home of the newlyweds and the nearly dead? Who would have thought that he was actually a stand-up comedian? He wasn't this jealous that everyone says, whoa, you can play anything. Did you know that he taught Christopher Lloyd? Did you even know Christopher Lloyd was a cellist? Yeah. Did you know that after just three lessons with me, this man, all of a sudden he's Peter and the Wolf, I was like, oh, you narrating? He's like, no, I'm playing in the cello section. I'm first chair. You taught me. I'm just telling him that you're my teacher. That's right, people. That's what a name can do. As long as you attach something awesome to your name and stick to it as long as you can. Like me, 57. Doesn't matter if I had degrees. If I had passed off any of these things, whatever's up there. What's up there is better, and it's a computer error. We win. It means you all are going to win, so fuck the SATs.
they will. COVID. Just remember us. That's how it started. There was a little school, a music and arts conservatory of Santa Barbara. It's been there since the 80s, so you can count. But I personally have been the mascot with them. Oh, I should say. Since the 80s. So I can be saying I, I am mascot for that school forever. They know it. They'll let me do anything. And they let me get in trouble, but they at the end when they see the justice, as long as I tell them, this is legal, what I'm doing. They got my back. They just said, we can't watch because nobody's going to understand it and you're going to keep getting thrown in jail and you're going to keep re-explaining it. And I said, yeah, but I want it to be really obvious. Not like in LA and all these big cities where, yeah, it's happened thousands, thousands, thousands of times of people not understanding, not letting the person speak. There's a big thing. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And we think, oh, let's, don't worry, hold on here. Before you, right? Before you hit this one and before you stab him with that pick, you're really good at that street fighting, Bodnar. Thank you. I use it, the crazy part of the Bodnar family, under extreme stress, I become, I must let you understand that you are wrong. It's not about that I even care anymore. You must apologize and just say you were wrong. Say it. You know, come on, just say. What, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, audit. No, what are you gonna? What are you gonna not look up when you get home? First Amendment audit. Tour. Try it again. First Amendment audit. Door. What do you think a First Amendment audit door does? Do you know? Yeah. Do you want to try that again? No. All right, you're half truthful. All right, half truthful world. This is the world now, big boss. This is fuck you. It's I'm not going to say you fire me because you quit. No, I've got you doing my... Vegas vacation from hell, right? Where's my bonus? I've given in. I've actually worked at you, Shell. Where's my bonus? Why do you have people attacking me? Why do you have computers taking my money? Why, when I have to go to another computer to get my money back, you won't answer your phone? Yeah, it always goes back to you. You gave me all these numbers. You kept saying they're care numbers. Everyone laughed at me. All these minions... And one by one, I destroyed their lives, didn't I? They just had to stay on the line long enough. It's like a spam baiter in reverse. And once they stayed, we nabbed them. And then we just get them for lies. What's your real name? Nah, I can't tell you. What's your real name? What's your real address? Don't. What's the name of your cat? Don't. The more times they say, well, upstairs says we can't do it, the more times we just took them, get them flagged. I don't know what's going to happen to them. That's the problem. If the computer gets them flagged 37 times, I can't call and go, dude, sorry. I just wanted to flag you once or I was going to take off my one flag. But whoops, algorithm. That's what you're all going to find out. Yeah. Go into the DMV. Uh, I saw this guy in the parking lot. He says it's okay that he films my VIN number. It's not true, right? Oh, we're sorry, sir. Hold on. What, what's your VIN number? Well, shouldn't you have it in there? Well, yeah, yeah, but you know how we do it. It's the MV. It's going to... Well, okay, it's... Let me look. I mean, I don't... Should I go back out there? No. No, sir, it's on... It's on you must have that, people. Do you have insurance? You see how it's going to go for you guys. Why do you need my insurance? I'm just reporting this. Dude. Yeah, yeah, we just want to see your, your... Do you have ID? I mean, it's just... That's what we do, right? Well... Wait a minute, are you, are you accusing me of a crime? Right, they're not even knowing that that's what you're supposed to say. And they'll say no, then you leave, right? But it'll be a cop, right? And they'll see they caught you, fish. They got you in the DMV, shit, you got a boat? Hold on, how are you paying for that boat? Well, you didn't pay for this thing, but oh, that boat's where? Aspen, what the hell? Isn't that where Donner, like, just shot all these people? Like, Jack Nicholson. I met Jack Nicholson when I was a kid at this music festival. It was awesome. Now, hold on. Come on. Take some culture. Dude. Yeah. And it, 
it used to be in these tents. I don't know how it is then, but all the music was in, in these just tents. They would like fly away. You know, a whole stage would fly away in the wind. Yeah, it was hilarious. And everyone would just go drink wine somewhere and smoke. It was back in those days, right? Yeah. We weren't supposed to be smoking, but we didn't have Nancy's in the streets. Oh, it's the Nancy's. The Nancy's that don't point out the injustices. They just point out what they would like to change in you. But they don't even let you uh, uh, speak because they just walk away going, you bad person. And they just keep saying things more and more. And they don't even know you. And they're walking away. So they're not even looking in your eyes or giving you any sort of politeness. And this guy does this to me. And then people are going to be like, let's be more polite. No, this is how we're going to do. All right, we're back to, this is how we're going to do this audit. I start on that sign that says, uh, we are in this together. And like in those other videos, I'll point out those totally hypocritical, the three that are just like, that's too hypocritical. We, we will point those out and then go in and say when there's a good amount of people in a place where it won't really bother them, but I'm gonna get the citizens in this time by saying what I was saying. I'm gonna go, but this could have been my daughter. Why aren't they coming down? And then I'll be citizens. Would it be disruptive if, if, I, if I asked you to just look at the First Amendment? You know, have, yeah, see the old ladies, we can't do it. I'd have to show them, but I'm filming on my phone. Do you see how they've gotten me? They got it worked out. So I'm just going to get them like they did last time. Just get the old ladies like, can I help you out with your card? Do you know? And old ladies love me. They know. They know. I just go, would you like me to play something on my cello? Anything you want. And they're always like, well, can you play the Strauss Waltz? Da na 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 na. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Which brings me back to Shoni. Shoni is, was, passed away, um, Holocaust uh, survivor. He's from one of those, uh, one of those things where they just ran at one point. This is what I'm going for. There was one of those camps where they knew, mm, you know, there's barbed wire, there's stuff like people are going to die. But they knew if we just storm that fence, all of us, the human effort. Make an effort here to be human. No, no, no one else was. They're like, hey, let's, let us take you to the showers now. Don't worry, you're getting your day in court, right? I mean, but now this huge group, and all weakened out, right? All messed up from their experimentations and stuff. We just said, fuck it, and ran together away from that word, Holocaust, that no more, right, can we find on social media. Because of an experiment, WTF is happening here, and trolls that accidentally, they actually came into the shot. Every time the lawyers have looked at our videos, they go, whoa, what are they doing? And I always go, watch what's going to happen. There's going to be all this stuff in the background. They're going to do incriminating things to themselves. It'd be worse. They're going to come up and say, you can't be doing that, but then walking away not even realizing that you just said, it's going up live, would you like to speak to the 153 people in the room? Right, they don't, everywhere, they just think you're lying. So in real life, since I didn't lie about a lot of that stuff, just like the Holocaust, that's true. If they don't wanna look back in my mind, they just flip me off before I'm able to go, dude, I was in this town since 1969, can you imagine this four-year-old with his grandpa, dad, just go, what is this? Why are the seals all covered in, in, in this tar? Why, you know, nobody got this image. Every time a cop would come in and go, oh yeah, I knew, Six, 1969, I'm like, where were you? And most of them weren't born yet, right? So they, they have to cut out. Then the older one who's older than me, he goes, well, I wasn't in Santa Barbara. How about in 1976 when, when they had to change the, train tracks just to bring in the Liberty Bell for us and we human effort elements of make it happen but it's not gonna make it to LA it's not gonna 
stop here. And they made it happen, government. So that's what I'm trying to explain to these, just the little minions. I'm not saying minions are bad. It's where you start in the game, the pawn. I'm a pawn, yeah. You could, you can beat someone at the end. You can have just a pawn and you can still make it. At least a stalemate, for sure. My grandfather's taught me that. Or you can just drink their, their vodka. Say, as long as I don't lose, will you give me more vodka? And they'll just be having you drink. And you can have them. It's just knowing that they could catch you. There's a way that they could corner you. But nobody in a chess game. I mean, in America. My American games. Ever have time for that. And since they're already drunk and you can already do things normally drunk, doesn't really matter where they're just like... Yeah, that's another thing about a Russian-Ukrainian bloodline is that no drug works for us for very long. And people are very upset with us because we usually, they usually conk out. You know, at parties and things where everyone's brought a little bit of drugs, they usually all conk out thinking we've all conked out and we'll tomorrow morning resume. But they soon learned if I was just sitting in a corner you know, they shouldn't just beat me up to make me shut up. I'd be like, happy and singing and singing a song, right? Just manic to the max and like doing all their products. I love your stuff. And then the next morning they go, oh my God, I had a whole, I had an ounce. There's no way who, what? And I'd be like, petit dash, would you like, should we go somewhere and get something to drink? Mm. chess anyone right it's that kind of thing and it's great because i never wanted to play but they always at parties and things that there's some i'm a hot player and then they go you want to do the thing where it's a russian player because it used to be spassky this amazing russian chess player this is back in the 70s in this world spassky was amazing russian and it was back in those times where we're we're thinking the russians might be the enemy you know this this communism thing, oh God, we're so stupid. Yeah, anyways, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wanna apologize to Europe on, on, on the part of all Americans, even the ones who weren't part of the human effort, even the dicks, I'm really sorry. And once again, media, you must take down Donald Trump. Yeah, I'm the comedian who survived the Trump man. Um, tell him. Yeah, no, he's going to be taken down from SNL. Every one. Every episode, everything that he was in. Any writer, key grip, personal assistant, anyone who was around that area, especially these I'm taking personal interest in, the people who had to do with the sketch. Listen up, SNL writers and company. Remember, it's easy. Donald Trump playing the drums in a cover band from the 80s. Like you're doing the wedding singer. Does that, yeah, and Adam Sandler. You're still pushing him. You still, everyone, I love his Hanukkah song and when my kid was growing up, so 